Clark eyes up behind the back through the left. There is no athlete generating more buzz right now than the University of Iowa's Caitlin Clark. Clark looking to turn the corner. Her team is set to take on the University of Connecticut in the semifinals of the NCAA March Madness Tournament on Friday. And Clark again. Ticket prices are nearing $1,000, more than the men's semifinal. I think that really puts into perspective uh, what exactly where women's basketball is going and the type of you know excitement around our game. More than 12 million people watched the women's quarterfinal between Louisiana State University and Iowa. More than every major league baseball game played last year. Clark is one of a growing roster of college players making a name for themselves. Edwards, aggressive to the rim. Including Kingston, Ontario's Aaliyah Edwards, who plays for Connecticut. We're not only a hockey country, we're trying to be a basketball country as well, so um, a lot of love up north and I appreciate all of you. Longtime University of Saskatchewan and former Canadian national team coach Lisa Tomitis says all of it is good for the game, but says calling this a moment diminishes decades of work. I don't like that because it seems, you know, it refers to something that's fleeting then. I think for those of us who've been in women's basketball have you know, recognize this for many years that this has been going on. There's been no shortage of talent. The increased spotlight on not just basketball, but also hockey and soccer could attract a new generation of fans and athletes. Women can actually start to get to know these other women that are in this space because before it felt like out of sight, out of mind because they weren't even visible to you. So you didn't even know they existed. And then Aaliyah Edwards right here uses her footwork underneath the basket. For those who've spent a lifetime building the game, it's a long time coming. Proving that it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Jamie Strash in CBC News, Toronto.